Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial in which uh, we have this uh, shape in front of us and it is a kind of uh, shower faucet and I will teach you how to simulate uh, this uh, by adding uh, a hot inlet, a cold uh, inlet and one outlet so uh, let's do this first let's go to mesh the uh, shape we have and we will not get so much time in meshing. Let's just put a uh, five millimeters or We can stay on the uh, Default mesh or let's say we want 10 millimeters. Okay, and let's uh, go to name our uh, boundary conditions, so this one here is Cold inlet and the next one is uh, the hot inlet and uh, don't forget this is a wall oh, sorry because we do not want any leakage from here and uh, here is the outlet so uh, if you would like to show you how I'd uh, draw this such uh, shape, so uh, you can uh, uh, just contact me and I will teach you how to do it. If you want a tutorial, I can make a tutorial about it. And uh, now let's go and click update. So it will generate the mesh and it will take it to Fluent. And now that uh, our mesh is complete, let's go to workbench and start setup. And let's make it uh, four processes. Okay, and let's uh, we'll start as soon as the sketch is imported. We will choose uh, transient with time. Okay and let's choose gravity to be minus 9.81 and let's go to setting up physics and let's uh, turn on the energy equation because we are dealing with hot and cold and viscous let's say it's k omega or let's say it's k epsilon RNG or let's say realizable okay and let's go to materials and it's air by uh, default we should change it to water sorry water liquid click copy and now click change create and let's proceed and go to cell zone conditions and here the fluid we should assign it we must assign it to water liquid boundary conditions let's cold inlet let's give it a speed of 0.5 or let's give it a speed of 1 well, let's say 0.5 and thermal let's say the cold is 290 let's say okay and the hot inlet let's say it's point four okay and let's say here it's 350 okay and now let's go to uh, methods let's keep the method as it is let's use second order implicit and controls I will leave the under relaxation factors as they are and let's go to initialize our solution from all zones click initialize and let's not forget to assign number of time steps I will give it 20 and let's create a vector animation of the flow let's say you want everywhere so this is uh, 
zero, it began in zero, that's why we can't see the flow. So click on vector one and OK. And now let's go to calculation activities, increase the autosave one every time step, and let's start our calculation. So now that we finished, let's go to results and see how our flow will look. So let's uh, insert uh, vectors, okay, and let's see how this will look. Actually, let's insert it in, uh, let's see it in a plane. So insert location, plane, and we can view it here in 2D. Okay, let's see how this will look. So locations is plane. Okay, and you can view an animation of it, time step animation. Okay. This is how it will look. Well, more interesting is if we view in uh, 3D. So let's say the take out the vectors and let's see the streamlines. Okay, streamline one. Let's start from the hot inlet. Apply. Okay, this is the hot inlet. And streamline 2, let's make it from the cold inlet and let's see how this will look. Okay, and here you can see that you can draw the animation of it. So let's see how this will look here. As you see, and uh, one more thing is interesting to do. Now this is just the streamlines, however, we can uh, put more points here, okay, same here, apply, and we can take a look at that now. course takes some time but you can also create a movie of this so let's stop and let's see a quick animation for how the uh, particles react like in stream one this is how the particles go this is only from stream one. Now, if you want to view both, you just see how both can go. This is the flow, and that's interesting. So, thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you like my video. And goodbye.